Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on Python coding. And in this video, the topic is about Michaelis Menten kinetics. All right, so it, it is about biochemical reaction. And suppose we have this reaction. E is the enzyme, S is substrate, and E plus substrate will react and form enzyme complex E dot S, which later on will separate to be enzyme and the product. All right, so this is the simplistic reaction equation. And according to Michelis Menten, we can model the consumption rate of the substrate with this Michelis Menten equation. So dS by dt equals to minus V max times the concentration of the substrate divided by Km plus the concentration of the substrate, where the V max and Km are the Michelis Menten kinetics parameter. All right, so this is the, the rate of the consumption of the substrate, okay, which can be predict using this equation. And this is the biochemical reaction equation. Okay, and then we continue. Now our case is like this. Suppose the Vmax is two mol per liter per second. Okay, this should be small s. And then the Km is 0 0.2 mol per liter. And the initial concentration of the substrate S0 is one mol per liter. Now we need to construct the plot of the concentration profile over time. Okay, so the, the concentration profile of the substrate in this case over time, and we need to create the plot using Python. Okay, and we will do this modeling or we will do this calculation using forward Euler method. Okay, just a brief review here. So in this method, suppose we have dy by dt which is of course the function of y and t, okay? Two parameters, any parameter that we can model, dy by dt is a function of y and t, okay? So dy by dt can be approximated using this approach. So yi minus y at i minus one. So current y minus previous y divided by the step or denoted here delta t okay which is actually the function of y at i minus one and at t at i minus one okay if we follow this then we can calculate or we can predict the yi so the new i okay y at i can be calculated from the previous y, which is y i minus one, plus delta time or delta t multiplied by this value. You can see it is as a tangent, okay, dy by dt. So if the y is the vertical axis, t is the horizontal axis, you can see new number or new value in the vertical axis is the previous value in the vertical axis plus the step or the yeah the step in horizontal axis multiplied by the tangent okay so the tangent so horizontal multiplied by the tangent you will get vertical so the new vertical value can be calculated from the previous vertical value with this new step in vertical axis okay so that's maybe it will be easier for you to to absorb that to digest that okay okay so from now from here we will go to the python okay so we will do the python coding within the google collab so now we are in google collab okay we can type in michelis menton kinetics okay so you can follow me for the coding 
In this case, we will use NumPy and PyLab. So we will call import the NumPy, enter, import the PyLab. Okay, we run. All right, that's for the first step, new code. And then this is for the kinetics parameter or Michelis Menten kinetics parameters. We have the data Vmax is 2.0. This is in mole per liter per second. Okay. And then the KM is 0 0.5 actually. Okay, 0 0.5 in our case, mole per liter. Okay, we can click run. This is for the data and then new code. Now we will define the equation. So type in ODE definition. Okay, we'll define DF S comma T and then this one. Okay, so the function will be DF. It will use data of S and T. S here is the concentration of the substrate and T will be the time. Okay, so you can follow the syntax. Enter DS DT. This is the ordinary differential equation. Okay, equals minus Vmax. This is the Michelis Menten equation. Minus Vmax times the S divided by, open parenthesis, Km plus S. And now we will return DSDT to go back again to the DSDT. Okay, we run. So far so good. Now we or we make a new line of code. Okay, now we will set up time discretization. All right, I will use 10 points. So this is the number of time steps. Okay, time steps. So we will use time here, of course. And then the time will be NumPy. We will use lin space here. Lin space. Okay, from zero. All right, and then comma. This is the syntax. Two with n numbers, all right, where n is 10. And I will define the dt. dt is the t, okay, at 1 minus the previous t, which is t at 0. Okay, and then we run. Okay, new code. And then we will allocate the storage space and set the initial conditions, okay, for our equation. And now we will call sol, okay, numpy zeros with n numbers. So we will just create an array of zero zero s number okay with n numbers okay and then sol at zero this is the initial condition is actually one this is the initial s in mole per liter okay we run and then you can do like this one. If you want to be sure about the soul, you can type in soul, run. So this is the soul, okay, array. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is the soul with the initial number, initial value is of course one. Okay, so we create using this numpy dot zero, start from one, the initial condition with the others will be zero. That's why we, we call it zeros. Okay, and then new code for i in range from one and and this one. So the soul at i is the previous soul i minus one. Okay, this is the Euler method forward Euler method. So you can go back to the previous slide plus dt, the step in horizontal axis. Now the horizontal axis will be time multiplied by the tangent. And the tangent is the df here, defined here, df, open parenthesis, the concentration, and then the time. So the syntax will be open, and then this is the soul or this one soul at i minus one comma okay so we will follow this syntax this one defined here so comma time i minus one all right so far so good we can click run now we will create the plot Create new line of code. For the plotting, we will use PyLab. PyLab.plot. Okay. The first one is the horizontal axis. So it will be time or T. And the next one after the comma is the vertical axis, which is Sol. Okay. And then we can just do this simply. PyLab.show. And then we can click run. All right, so very easy, right? So this is the concentration profile over time, starting from one, okay? And then go down because the substrate is con consumed. And you can also rename the axis. So to do that, we can insert the code, PyLab for the X label. Let's say it will be time and in this case we don't want to talk about units so it will be dimensionless close okay like this one let's run it okay so you can see the axis name for the horizontal axis the x axis time dimensionless and we also do that for the y axis or the vertical axis Y label, and then this one, concentration. Also, for the time being, dimensionless. Okay, or maybe mole per liter. Okay, this one, mole per liter. Okay, mole per liter run okay so this is the concentration profile concentration in mol per liter starting from one and then it is consumed following this equation michelis menten kinetics equation and this is the horizontal axis which is time dimensionless and lastly if you want to check the t we can create new code t run so this is the time starting from zero to time of two with 10 numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine ten because we use this one the time all right numpy lint space zero to two and numbers. 
and if you want to know the concentration just type in soul we will have the array one two three four five six seven eight nine ten All right starting from one because in the original array, this one starting from one and the others are zero. But now we have the solution. So we have the results here from one and then the others as per the result. Okay, so that's the case for the Michelis Menten solution in Python. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in next Python videos. Thank you.